Hi, I thought I'd show you this time we're working on this project bag or that project bag and there's a pattern on my website to purchase and download on gourmetquilter.com. Um, we're working on the inside of the bag at the moment and we're going to pop these elastic straps in and they have this uh, slide class, slide opening, side opening class sitting in there. So I thought I'd just show you how to pop that in the base of the bag. So we've already, um, we've already quilted the base of our bag and we've got a one of these slide clasps here they just pop open on the sides and we've got some elastic and all the information about the cutting sizes is in the pattern so i'm just going to thread this elastic through this clasp this little places to thread things through and you want to pull that through this works on both sides of course we want that to be pulled through halfway so that it's sitting nice and evenly. And we're going to do a little stitching row, but we don't want it to be stitched straight because we're going to be spreading these out and we're wanting the clasp to sit more or less in the middle of our bag. And I happen to know that I've stitched some stitching pretty much up the center of this bag base. So I want that to come out there and there. It need only be approximate at this stage. And I'm going to do just a little stitch just to hold that elastic in that position and the same on the other side so we'll do that first and then I'll show you how to position it on there so just where the elastic overlaps you can just do a little stitch straight stitch is fine I'll do the other one while we're here bag just gets more and more exciting as time goes by. Okay, this one side of the buckle um, usually is a little bit uh, more bulky than the other, so just stitch where your machine is comfortable nearby. So don't try and force anything or stitch anything on top of anything. This is just to hold the elastic in more or less the right sort of position so that it sits nicely in the bottom of the bag. So then I'm going to use my ruler to help me position these and some clips or you could use pins. So I think you want to pop the elastics on the sides approximately three, three and a half inches maybe from the raw edges of your bag piece at the moment. So we're going to do bring that out there. This is not an absolutely exact measurement. It is approximate but it seems to work pretty well. So I've got the buckle sitting pretty much in the center there. And I've come down one, two, oh, only three inches. We might come down a touch more. Three and a half. I think it's nicer. And then we're going to do the same from the other end. So we're going to come up approximately three and a half inches from the bottom and bring that out to the side there. You want a little bit of tension, so you just might need to play around with this just a little bit before we sew it in place, because you want it to sit fairly snug in the bottom of the bag there. So that may just need to be pulled a touch in there. Yep. You don't want it pulling in so that it's too tight, you just want it to sit nice and sort of firm and flat. So that was approximately three and a half inches down up from the top, up from the bottom, down from the top. Um, and now I'm just going to stitch just down the sides. If you remember on the top piece where we've popped the mesh pocket, I've suggested that you stitch all the way around. You can do the same on here, but because we've got some quilting along here, that's already being held together. But if you've done different quilting and you've got some edges that are flapping, I'd suggest that you just do a holding row of sewing in the soft area, not on the stiff, um, faster fuse there. So I'm just going to come down each side, and this can be a large stitch. This is not going to show. It's just a holding stitch so you just want I'm just going to go up to a bigger stitch and just come down the sides so that we can just hold it all together for that and so you've got to include the elastic in this line of sewing. Don't worry that there's bits sticking out the sides. That will be dealt with. So in the soft area not on the stiff fast fuse. Uh 
I'm going to just quickly do the other side. And that's the base all done and that's it. Let's make sure that that elastic stays under you put there. There's a great idea inside a bag that's got these flat areas like this where you can pop things in under this little elastic. You can open it up if you need to. And there we have the base of our bag looking pretty similar, I must say, to our other bag. So that's how that's going to be. It's sitting nice and flat. Everything's sitting really well. So we'll come back with the next video to show you how we're going to pop the handles on to the bag outsides. Thank you.